And now we've made it to our solar system. That's what we're we'll looking at today, taking a trip through our own community of planets around our star, which we call the sun. You recognize this uh, constellation? Right, this is the, war the warrior, Orion. You can see his, his head here. You see his shoulders, maybe his arm. This is his belt. That's the belt of Orion, those three stars. This is his sword and his feet. It's this right shoulder of Orion that's of interest. It's different, isn't it? You can see it's different. That's the Betelgeuse. It's not the nearest star, but it's the largest nearest star. Matter of fact, Betelgeuse, I've read that Betelgeuse is the only star, whenever you look at it, you are actually looking at the outer edge of the star. That's not a source of light, but you're lo you can actually see the star mass itself. That's how big it is. This is a photograph taken of Betelgeuse, infrared photograph, and you can actually see the distribution of temperature, right? The blue represents the colder regions. You can talk about a star being cold, less hot, let's say, <laughs> much less, less hot. But you can see the, the, cold, the warmer regions form an equatorial. This is the equator, those are the poles. And so not only can we see Betelgeuse, we can see that the temperature differ, differential on Betelgeuse is similar to our sun. Our sun has an axis of rotation, and it has, a, uh, it has an equatorial region that emits more heat. 